Hi, Dr. Jay with Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center of El Paso. Today we're going to be performing a rhinoplasty. Uh, on this rhinoplasty, a little bit unique because it's probably the only thing that we're going to do is reduce this dorsal hump. Um, on this male, he really doesn't want the tip to be much smaller. He would just like to have this, this removed, which will in turn tend to bring the tip or rotate the tip up. And so this, I marked this out so you can see, this is where the cuts and the bones are going to be here and then it comes to the other side. And I've removed this portion here on the septum, that's the middle partition between the two nostrils. So once I make the cuts, then I'm gonna push down and this bone, the nasal bone, will slide up into this uh, maxillary bone or this other bone on the face and that will allow, allow the whole bridge to come down as a subunit. And so we'll show that and then we'll see how that looks. And if that does what I think it's going to do, we won't have to do really, thing, really anything to the tip itself. So we'll show you uh, that as I go along. Okay, so now we're in position to do the cuts in the bones. Tap, tap. My assistant, tap, tap. 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 Tap, 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 tap. And we'll continue on with that. Let me just show you what this looks like right here. <clears throat> this has this little guard on it, but that guard I can feel with my other hand right here so I can feel where that's going. Um, you may want, wonder how I know where it's going because I can feel it with my opposite hand. So I'll complete this here. We'll make a small incision on the skin, complete that one and do the same on the other side and push the whole dorsum down. Okay, so I went ahead and did the push down. I didn't show that because sometimes that can be kind of bloody. But, uh, so I did the push down. You can see how much it's reduced that dorsum. Um, and in fact, it changed kind of the appearance of the tip too. We got some upward rotation on the tip. So I talked to him pretty extensively before surgery. He really didn't really want a whole lot of tip work done. He really just wanted that profile change. So you can see that I think that that's done at all. I don't really think I need to do anything else to the tip. He didn't want to have a narrowed tip. He wanted to have more of a more of a male tip, but he really wanted that done. So with that one technique, the push down technique, a very powerful technique, we were able to accomplish everything we wanted to accomplish today. So I will show you a little diagram before we're completely finished, but uh, in a sense, we're done with the rhinoplasty. Okay, so we're all done. I just wanted to show you this, this diagram here. So that's the push down technique. I've shown it before. So this is, this red is on the inside of the nose. That's the septal cartilage being removed and then a cut being made on the, the uh, bony um, septum. The cuts on the nasal bone that come up here and allow the whole thing to be pushed down. If you look at the inside of the nose, this is the nose uh, split then you would see this is this right here, all this portion is septal cartilage. So I took a strip off here and on the, uh, <coughs> on the bony portion of the, uh, of the septum, a cut was made. And then here again are the osteotomies or the bony cuts and the whole thing is pushed down. And then you can see from there what we've done to the, uh, to the profile. So a significant reduction of the profile and then also allowing a rotation up of the tip. So those are the things we did today. Dr. Mark Jaber, Cosmetic Surgery Laser Center of El Paso. Thank you for watching.